Hello, regular nation. Oh my gosh. You see stuff going on right now in the background. You see me in my suit. I hope you watch the short. We'll put that in the uh, link down below in the description, Bob. Don't you worry. And there's going to be a few other things that I'll get to. But uh, welcome to a long-awaited Feels in Love for the Ghostbusters franchise. Shit. And there's a lot. Oh, my God. There is a ton. Ton to talk about. But am I going to overdo the talking? No, I can't overdo that because this video would be like hours, hours, and hours long. I always notice I repeat myself three times all the time. Very interesting. You do. Very interesting. Oh. So, you know, usually I do my regular reviews with the green screen, but you gotta love a green screen when you can put all this stuff on there. And of course, we're gonna get that copyright smack on this, but it's well worth it. It's well worth it. And. Look, I've got Stay Puff, I've got my Ghostbuster sign here. This hangs on the wall in the bedroom. And they're kind of holding hands because I have a feeling because I'm banging on the table a lot at times, it might go down. If he goes down, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. I do apologize. <sighs> but where to begin? <laughs> oh, my Ghostbusters love. And um, also keep in mind, like I said, we're going to put some links in the description because I have a lot of toys. I don't have as many toys as many other people, but I might have toys that you might not have. Or set up in a different way, but you won't see that. But you can go back and watch some stuff. So anyway, <laughs> let's get to the job at hand here because we're going to talk some stuff now. And you say, where did your Ghostbusters love start? Well, <laughs> hmm. That Ghostbusters love started as a kid, it's a little wee lad, and I do have cards here just so I stay on track because you saw that intro, I was all over the fucking place, my god, dude, Jesus, get it together. <sighs> the real Ghostbusters, yes, the cartoon that premiered in 1986. Now you see something playing behind me, right? It's playing behind me right now. This was the original pilot that they shot out there. So you'll see like some different shit happening. The Ghostbusters might look a little different. Basically, uh, Peter is the one that they changed drawing wise and they kind of refined Egon a little bit with the hair. But everybody stayed the same. They didn't have the all the colorful suits, but we'll even get something in that too. Um, Yo, 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 yo. So as that's playing, let that play. I do recommend going to watch that if you haven't seen that. My God, Kelsey, do you remember? We played that in a few live Ghostbusters things that we did early on in the channel. Oh, man. Because I always used to go back and I'm like, so cool. So cool. But anyway, the real Ghostbusters cartoon, right? That launched it for me. Now I am 41 years old. I was born in 1982. The original Ghostbusters movie came out in 1984. Now, of course, I didn't see that. But as I grew into a little tyke, yeah, uh, it was then that I discovered the real Ghostbusters. Oh my god. And it went on for seven seasons, so it ended in 1991. It was instant love. And then... I guess, like, my father saw how much I loved Ghostbusters. He allowed me to see the movie. Now, of course, we'll talk about the movie, this and that, but this is where it all started, right? So, you say... Huh? Well, no, it was, you know, the fact that I was a kid that just loved... I, I just was enamored by it. And you say, why were you enamored by it? Now, I didn't see the movie, and when I saw the movie, holy shit, was it all life on the fucking dunk. My God. So as the, uh, that pilot intro is still going, because it's like a four or five minute one, almost, and it goes through some wacky stuff, and you can even have saw at one point, if my big head wasn't in the way, Slimer looked different and everything, the proton packs looked different, but they did keep stuff for the, uh, for the intro, of course, and some of the, uh, artwork. But, now, nah, we will take that off, right? And we'll get into some of like, now look, there was a lot of favorite episodes. So, 
for a lot of people, I mean, like I said, seven seasons. Now, we also know the seventh season basically didn't have many episodes. I think it was like four episodes it had. Um, and basically, I would say the first two seasons of the real Ghostbusters were, were good. And then as it gained popularity, you know, you had dribs and drabs of episodes. And the one thing I will say, I don't know about all of you, I don't know if you guys ever recognized the Proton streams were always different. Sometimes per, per season, per episode, they would be different colors, this, that, the other, but I always noticed that they always look different. Anyway, so let's get to a few of my favorite episodes and you'll see them playing in the background, right? Okay, when Halloween was forever. Yes, come on. <sighs> Who didn't love that episode? Who didn't love most of these episodes? But this was a cool one. And the one thing that I did love is like, through all these, especially the first two seasons, the 80s song, like that they played in the background, I was like, song parody, it's not a song parody. The 80s songs that they played in the background of the uh, episodes were great. And you're, you're like watching this as a cartoon, you're like, you hear like that 80s kind of sound going, and I'm not gonna sing because it's pretty bad. So, <laughs> uh, that was one of my faves. Um, the Boogeyman, of course. The Boogeyman Cometh. That Boogeyman episode, creepy as hell. Now, the clips that are playing in the background, we're gonna make sure that they're playing at certain points of what I'm saying, so you can see Sam Hain and all that kind of shit. Um, so, like, don't forget about that. Like, the two little ghosts that were running around that released them all that kind of shit, but now the Boogeyman, now the Boogeyman wasn't a ghost, so if you remember like in that episode when they were uh, trying to catch him, they're like, oh, that's not a ghost, and they go into his realm, and it had a big thing to do with Egon, because Egon knew him as a kid, because he came for Egon, and all that kind of shit, so that was always a cool episode, and let's, like, let's not forget like the voicing in all these freaking things were perfect, they were just perfect and creepy, the cartoon was creepy as a kid. You know you were scared at times, don't even. Um, another great one that I loved was Knock Knock. And I remember having the VHS. Now, everybody remembers like the VHS tape set. You would get tapes, tapes. See, like I'm excited so I'm gonna talk fast. So, like you would get those VHS tapes and they would have like really cool artwork. And that was, I remember, it was the artwork on the VHS tape on the outside of the cover for this Knock Knock episode. Would, they would have like three episodes per tape, I feel. And, or maybe four. I think it was three. Um, and it had Egon sitting on top of Ecto, I feel, shooting at Slimer. And they were drawn in like this certain style way. I gotta find the artwork. I would love that as a print. That'd be cool. Um. But this was a this was a creepy ass episode, but it was like so Ghostbuster esque, and you wanted to see like a style movie from it. And it was the uh, like you saw as you see at one point you saw in the beginning as I started talking about it, the gates of hell opened, and it had the creepy voice, and just like how the whole city's transforming, and like ah, this was all in a cartoon. You saw this as a kid, it's so cool. Um, and then also. Um, because I do have these toys. Like I said, we're gonna be marking some stuff in there. Okay, don't you worry. I'm gonna tell you guys that in a sec. Um, Citizen Ghost. Yes, Citizen Ghost that's going. Now this was a direct, um, basically a continuation from where the movie left off. They're just getting back from finishing with Gozer. You see them in their, their traditional suits, which you're like, oh my God. Now as a kid too, as you, after you saw the movie, you're like, ah, ah, ah. So you're putting it all together, and then as the episode goes on, they create a cool little storyline, and then they're fighting themselves in Spectral Four. Very cool, because the suits take on their own uh, spectral beings because of the remnants from Stay Puft, which was a very cool thing. Very cool thing. Now, moving on. Um, I don't want to overextend because, like I said, I could talk for a long time about this because I get very excited. Uh, now, I wasn't um, into the Extreme Ghostbusters as you see it playing right here. It only had one season. It was uh, 1997, and it, it just wasn't my stick. All right, I didn't get into it. I thought it was cool, 
I like that Egon was training a new generation of Ghostbusters, but that was cool, but just like the, for me, the choices of, not the animation, I think it was like the, the way the proton packs looked, I thought it was like, I'm like, what is that? And then the, and the trap, I'm like, still, it made sense, and I know Harold Ramis had something to do with this, I think, too, so I don't want to outspeak on that. I don't know if Dan Aykroyd did, he might have, but I didn't really look that up, and this isn't a sit here and tell all about stats and fucking all that shit, so, no. Um... This is just a feels in love, baby. A feels in love is just reactionary and having fun with it. Now, with some notes, of course. Epi the last two episodes of the Extreme Ghostbusters I did check out because it was back in the saddle. And as you see that kind of playing, you, like everybody's drawn kind of different. Even the Proton Packs don't look like they did from the classic cartoon, which I would love to have a replica of that, a replica of the real Ghostbusters fucking Proton Pack, because I've seen those in person before. Oh my god. I love the people that build those. Please build me one. Um, so it was episodes 39 and 40. Yes, no, build it, do it. And you had them come back, and I thought that was cool, and all that kind of shit. I, you know, I just didn't really watch the series. And I know they had callbacks to all the old ghosts, this, that, the other, but, you know, hey, it just wasn't my thing. But, moving on, in the fields and loves, in the fields and loves, now this is going to get a little crazy. You see commercials going on in the background because who didn't love all the Ghostbusters toys? Yes, from the 80s. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now, while that's going on in the background, listen, I need you to go back, so I'm going to go into my notes right here. Okay, for anybody watching, the toy shows, if you want to know about the toys that I had and all that kind of stuff, any, I have a lot of Ghostbusters stuff on here, but it's from a few years ago. So the toy shows, we're going to put down in the description box, so you click those links down below and you can watch all those old episodes, because there is, hold on, let me count, from season two, there's one, and then season Season 1, because there was, you know, what was there, about 36, 35, season 4 was, sh season 2 was short, but season 1 had 30 plus. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 toy shows oh, oh. <laughs> with different Ghostbusters stuff, okay, for you to go back and watch, plus we've got a Ghostbusters fan footage um, shot down there, plus shorts. Okay, you can go back to the shorts, you'll see them, because we're tr planning on doing something. And also, the Spangler Proton Pack review. So, make sure to go check that out, because why wouldn't you want to? Come on. Okay, now it's important to keep those people when you're doing these things, because when you're a rambler like myself, oh shit. So, the toys, right? And we had the toys going on in the background, all these little commercials going. Yo, uh, everybody that gets this stuff now, you're spoiled, okay? The Spirit Halloween pack that comes out, my god, you're spoiled? Mmm. The toys that you get, spoiled. That's all I'm gonna say. But you didn't have the movie until, you know, we finally got Afterlife. Now, oh god, my god. I mean, you saw it a few times, you saw Ecto. I mean, who didn't have Ecto-1? The Ghostbusters freaking firehouse where you could park it in, but it was open ended. You had the pole going on. You sit, you're seeing it all in the background, but I'm talking about it now. I mean, I remember having it. Who remembers the ghost trap? Open and closed ghost trap. I used to catch lightning bugs in them. Then I would let them go, but it was like something to do. So you're like running around in that. You're like, catch the ghost. The proton pack. Seriously, that's why I say the proton pack. The freaking. You press the little orange handle, it was blue. It had the fucking little foam, little curly, and that thing always used to break. But oh my god, the amount of fun, and it had the like little strap. The amount of fun that you had with that was endless. And then the slime pack. The, oh my god. I don't know if it played back there, but the ghost popper with the ghost goggles. <laughs> and it had the foam things on the side, you could pop out. Pop the ghost. The slime pack was so small from Ghostbusters 2. Oh, and then the slime that came with it. 
Yeah, the slime that came with everything, that freaking little canister of slime you would always get. Oh, I mean, that, that was great. And of course, we all know Ecto Cooler. Come on now, we all remember when that came out. And um, we definitely have it playing because I do have this on here. The cereal box that glue in the dark. It glowed in the fucking dark. That's right, Ghostbuster cereal. <laughs> Dude, in the 80s and even into the 90s, they had so much merchandise because there were so many nonsensical Ghostbuster toys. All the weird ghosts. Remember the toilet ghost? The toilet toy? And the old lady that opened your mouth and it was scary as fuck? And the, oh my god, who didn't have the freaking doom buggy that would turn into like a praying mantis? I had that. That thing was crazy. And then you got, remember we got Ecto-1A, and then Ecto-1A was just all the stickers that you would add to it. All that crap. Oh my god, that was so fucking funny. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. So fun. <laughs> oh, now, you can go on forever with toys, too. My god, because like I said, there's so many toys. But now, let's talk uh, video games. Now, before we play the best video game that there was for Ghostbusters ever, there's just a picture behind me, you know, because I, I couldn't pull up these games. We all remember what we got from Nintendo and what we got from Sega Genesis. Now, I know the Sega Genesis game has been like, they added Winston, because for some reason they didn't have Winston, but it was like the little dudes with like a giant head, and I have a big head too, so. Oh. And then it didn't shoot a proton stream, it just shot like proton like like pellets, like thing. It was so weird. It was like Dragon Ball Z shit. Um And you're like, okay. That game sucked. I hated it. Oh my god, I remember like throwing the controller trying to be dead. And then the game for Nintendo, Ghostbusters the first game, we all know that. Go watch many reviews on all that crap. Those games, that game was fucking awful and it was on every system. And then they had a Ghostbusters 2, and that was more of like the side scroller, but it was still like, what the hell is this? Oh, just ass. But then we got into Ghostbusters the video game, which was done by Harold Ramis, done by Dan Aykroyd, and you know, they wrote all the shit. They oh, you see it going right now. And then if this is the remastered, remember when they remastered it? I mean, I can always go back and play that game. That game is awesome. That is like the ultimate Ghostbusters game. Um, it, I know they have uh, Ghostbusters Unleashed or whatever, and it looks like Fortnite Ghostbusters. I didn't bother with that, because I like a story-telling game, like where you're telling, that's just going around aimlessly doing stupid shit. Um, so, yes, ultimate, ultimate, ultimate game. And Ghostbusters didn't have like a really powerful video game line, so when it when that came out, it was hard not to. <laughs> so moving into the last part of this, right? And this feels in love. Oh, feels in love. Oh, you know what? I also forgot to tell you guys about who didn't have a Ghostbusters ten. I did. I had a Mickey Mouse ten too. Maybe it was just. Yeah, I had the Ghostbusters jumpsuit, by the way, before I go on, because I'm missing stuff. The Ghostbusters jumpsuit, back in the day, and it said, back off, man, I'm a scientist on the back. And then yeah, you used to get that stupid plastic patch that you could put around. <laughs> we remember that, we remember that. All right. So we're just gonna put some of the 1984 movie going on behind us. We could put some afterlife, maybe, if uh, whole production feels like it. Ghostbusters 2 didn't have a lot of great moments, but we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah, I mean, the court, well, the courthouse scene, we'll get the courthouse scene back there. How dare I? You know, when they're in the courthouse fighting the Scolari brothers. We can put that back there. You know we can. Come on. Come on. Oh! Well, I said it, so we got it. So, we all, now like, all right. Do we want to rank real fast? Let's rank. Where do we like, 
the Ghostbusters movies. And there's gonna be one little, a little uh, curveball thrown in there. So, obviously, 1984, first movie, number one. Number two, for me, it's gotta be Ghostbusters after all. Some people might have problems with it, you know, with certain aspects. I don't know, as a Ghostbusters fan, how you can. I understand how you can have issues with it as a critic. If you're like not a fan of the franchise, but nah, man, they hit the cylinders where they had to. Yeah, there's always questionable shit in movies. No, but then number two, number three. I'll put Ghostbusters two. Okay, just because and we'll get to that. Number four, Ghostbusters the video game, because that shit was the fucking third installment. And you guys are like, what are you talking about? You're making no sense. Well, guess what? That was the third installment of that franchise. And guess what? That's it, because the 2016 movie, don't answer the call. That's how I viewed that. I'm not gonna rip it, just no. No. Now, 1984 movie, when I saw that, okay, that's going, that's been going, you know, because we have so much stuff from that. We even have like a, that fun video that Kelsey collabed together. <sighs> I can't tell you how many times I've watched that. I can't even tell you. I've lost count. Um, that was the moment when I saw that. After being introduced to the real Ghostbusters, because that's how it happened, because I'm so young. And then watching this, floored. Wanted to be a Ghostbuster forever. And now here I am with all the stuff. <laughs> Amongst like, you know, thousands and thousands and millions of other people. I'll say millions. The millions. And now when you say excitement, right? Ghostbusters 2 was an exciting thing for me. 1989, that movie came out. I was old enough to go to the movies, you know, go we'll see that. You know how exciting that was? That I actually got so excited that I at the mall because I was so excited now this was like that theater inside of a mall so the theaters were smaller but going to see that movie I was like so amped and so like Aah! you know but as time went on I, <laughs> even <coughs> even as a um, kid I was kind of like I think I liked part one better and that was a you know, as a kid, I'm like, I liked part one better. I love the gray suits, you know, Vigo. You know, it was just like a weak comeback for a movie that hadn't been done since 1984. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, okay, but it's part of the history. Now, some people love it, so I won't knock it. I mean, we had the Bobby Brown song on our own. <laughs> you know, so come on now. But that's why that one stuck so, like, it imprinted. It was the first time I got to see Ghostbusters on the big screen. You know what I mean? So it was special. But definitely, it just falls down the list for me because it, it just doesn't feel like a continuation of where we left off. You know what I mean? Even though they're doing the dancing and all that, and we got the funny He-Man, you know. Oh, I thought it was going to be He-Man in the beginning. You know, all that was great, but it just didn't, it just didn't flow. It didn't flow. Now, when we got to Afterlife, well, fuck me. Was I, Kelsey, I, Kelsey, I saw that how many times there? Three? Three. Twice. 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 But it was with, yeah, it was. In one, in one weekend. In one, twice in one weekend, yeah, because I was just like, so awesome. Now, and the reason I say it's so... I don't so, know how many times since... Oh, yeah, how many times since then? Now, I'm just a Ghostbuster fan, and they, they just hit the notes the right way. They didn't try to do some stupid original score. Um, I know that some people might not have liked that they made Egon the bad dad, this and that, but he did it for a reason. You know, like, some people crack me up when they try to find 
things that they just don't want to like in a movie. Like, I remember someone going, Oh, how was Ecto filled with gas? Oh my god! Just fucking... Except the fact that it's... You, you can't have... Oh, so he went and he got a gas can and he filled it. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember that. I remember people bitching about stupid little things. And that's why I say, like, Oh my god, enjoy entertainment. They, they had callbacks. Egon's ghost. He was a ghost! What else were you gonna do with that? I thought that was, like, perfect. They didn't make him talk. You knew what was going on. It didn't matter. The, you know, like, I remember the, the first ghost chase was great with Muncher. Kelsey loved Muncher. Muncher was great. Muncher was your Slimer. That's your Slimer. Um, I thought that was a great first ghost chase in that movie. I love, like, the little riffs with the music, the callback to, like, the team in the 80s. Then having the old Ghostbusters come back. Yeah, you're just kind of like, oh, they showed up, but they fit, you know, like... Everything was sprinkled in there, but you didn't need every detail to, to just enjoy it. And I thought that was nostalgia done right with leading it into a new fucking team. And I thought they did a great job of it. So, yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait for the sequel. Can't wait for the sequel. And we know that. So, you know, like, we're, at, we're getting to the end of the Feels in Love here. And that's why I said, like... So Afterlife hit well, and then Ghostbusters the video game, so basically this is how it went. You had Ghostbusters 1984, you had Ghostbusters 2 in 89, then you had this giant gap where nothing was made because all the, you know, everybody was big shots and they wanted to go do their own thing and then, you know, how'd that work out? Um, Bill Murray, you know, he did good. Then 2016 rolled around, and I told you, we don't answer the call. And they just bastardized, they bastardized it. Now, could it have been cool with the with the cast that they had? Yeah, of course. Cat would have been great. But they chose to do their own thing and just say, yeah, that universe never existed, so we're just going to be the new Ghostbusters. And oh my god, the... CGI, the Nickelodeon look to it, the, the, uh, the bat, the, oh, oh god. I, I just didn't, I, I tried, I tried. I remember renting that fuck, I bought that damn thing because at the time, you couldn't fucking, you couldn't rent it. I think it was like, you could rent it, but I was just like, you know what, I'm excited. I'm gonna buy it. It's Ghostbusters. It can't suck. Boy, did it suck. It sucked. I was very upset. And that's why I said, hang the fucking call up. They call it, hang it the fuck up. Please. Oh. And, you know, so that's why, and then it went, and that, that's why, and then Ghostbusters Afterlife is Ghostbusters 4. So you had the video game. You had the video game as part 3, then you had Afterlife as 4, and now we got part 5 coming. And like I said, we don't answer the call from 2016. That don't exist. Mm. Now look, I am sure there are certain things that I missed, but that's okay, because I'm going on too long already. So what I would like you all to do is to make sure to go click those links we talked about earlier and go watch some footage, okay? Because we got a lot of good stuff that you don't have to worry about. It doesn't need to be trending. It's entertainment, baby. So make sure you go check that out. Mm. And I'm talking very interesting right now because I am in another universe. Because <laughs> I'm so excited that I'm talking crazy Ghostbuster stuff right now and all this cool stuff has been playing behind me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, in regular nation, anyway, just go make sure to go hit that like, okay? I want you to hit that subscribe and you better turn your notification bells on. Because why wouldn't you want to? Come take a ride on the irregular side, all the time, with the irregular name. I will catch you all later, and don't forget, who you gonna call?